Assalamu alaikum, I am Kajal Muktadir Abir and welcome to my another tutorial and uh, today in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can show your correlation with two raster in IGS. So uh, for this purpose I have two raster file here the one is NDVI and uh, one is NDRE and uh, I have created this port uh, using a sentinel2 image so if you don't know how to download a sentinel2 image or to uh, calculate NDVI or NDRE you can check my previous videos so uh, before we start anything uh, we have to set our working directory or workspace uh, so to go to uh, geoprocessing and uh, environments and under the workspace uh, you can see here i have created a folder uh, renamed in correlation rgis and i have created a geo database in here and i'm going to add this as my workspace and uh, click ok so the first thing uh, we have to uh, do is we have to create a fishnet uh, of points and uh, in, in, in that point we will extract our uh, value uh, there. Okay, so to do that go to the art toolbox and in data management tool scroll down and uh, you will find sampling and in the sampling uh, you can uh, you have to double click here and uh, create a fishnet. Okay, so in here we have to select our output feature class. So in here, uh, I want okay, so this will be my file name and the template is the uh, shape file of my area. Okay, so uh, this is my shape file of this area and uh, I'm going to select the number of rows as 70 and number of columns 50 and, uh, and, and choose the geometry type as polygon and uh, click OK to run the tool okay so you can see here our uh, fishnet has been created and uh, you can uncheck this and uh, see uh, this is the uh, fishnet we have created and you can go to the attribute table and you can see we have the OID number and uh, shape, uh, number, shape name here and uh, we are going to the next step, a step uh, we are going to add two column in here as the NDV, uh, values of NDVI and the values of NDRE okay then go to the special analyst tools and uh, in there go to extraction and uh, extract multi values to points and we're going to input point feature as the ndvi and ndre uh, level as this is and input uh, raster we're going to input both the ndvi and uh, ndre okay and click ok Okay, so now if you right click here and go to attribute table, you can see uh, we have the NDVI RSA 2021 and uh, NDRE. So here you can see we have uh, null values as well as uh, we have values. So the null values is basically the uh, blank where they didn't find any values to add in here. So uh, outside the raster, it is uh, blank it is all uh, added as null and uh, inside the polygon when they find any value they inputted it here so now we have to clean the data uh, and the, we have to uh, delete the uh, null values from here so uh, go to select here select by attributes and uh, we're going to select the ndvi rsf is now going to apply this and uh, you will see here the values uh, those who have null values are selected here and uh, we can 
Okay, uh, so to delete these uh, points, we have to add a toolbar here. Right click here and uh, click here editor. And we will find this editor uh, tab here. And uh, in editor, go to a start, a click here, a start editing. And we are going to edit the NDVI and NDRL level and click OK. So now you can delete the selected points. Okay. So here you can see we don't have any null values here. Okay, so you can see that uh, the uh, values uh, who has a null value is uh, gone. So you can check your attribute table again and you can see you have uh, only values in your attribute table. So uh, now in the next step, we are going to create a uh, chart or uh, sorry, yeah, create a graph from this uh, two uh, field here. So right uh, click here and uh, you can see you can uh, create a graph from here and uh, we're going to select the graph type as a scatter plot and the layer table is uh, okay and uh, we can uh, select the y field as ndvi and the x field as ndre okay so now we're going to add a trend line here uh, so click here add and uh, new function and the trend type uh, function type will be a trend and the um, data source will be the scatter plot and uh, you can see we have our trend line here and uh, you can change the color as you want it like uh, red or uh, black or a style you can also uh, select your style as a dot or solid or small dot okay uh, okay so what we, uh, i have done wrong is i have put ndr in the x field and ndvi in y, y field so i am going to change this as the y field is ndre and the x field is ndvi okay so uh, I, I i wanted to show that the uh, ndvi versus the ndre okay So we can uh, see here the, when the NDVI value is high. Uh, the okay, so we can see that uh, the NDVI and NDRE has a positive correlation between them. So the, when the NDVI value is uh, getting higher and the NDRE is also uh, getting higher. Okay, so in uh, we're going to click next and the. Uh, we can, we can uh, here you can see we have a graph legend and you can uh, rename or uh, give it a title and you can also set the position of the legend as I'm going to select the legend position as a uh, bottom okay so here is another uh, two option is uh, the graph title here you can change it and if you want to uh, also change the uh, x and y you can also exist property you can in the exist properties you can uh, rename your uh, exist okay so uh, here in the left we have ndre and in the bottom we have ndvi okay so now uh, you can click uh, finish or anything you want to do Okay, so here is our graph and if you want to, uh, you, you, can, you can right click here and uh, you can go to advanced properties and uh, you can also change the style or color here and also you can uh, change the, uh, as you wish in the trend line uh, in here and if you want to export this, you can uh, click here and uh, click export to export this uh, graph okay and uh, you can also add these as a layout add to layout by clicking this and uh, and if you want to calc uh, show uh, if you want to see the expression of this straight line and uh, if you want to uh, see the r square value we have to 
uh, export this value in Excel and then calculate it. Okay, so then uh, we are going to uh, select switch selection, uh, selecting uh, to select this all and right click here and uh, we're going to copy selected files and uh, now we're going to go to the excel and we're going to open a blank workbook okay so now we have our values here and we're going to select the both uh, columns and uh, okay and uh, go to insert and uh, we're going to create a scatter plot. So this will be my scatter plot, and uh, I want to create a legend and a thread line. And you can click here for more options. Okay, so now you can select the display equation on chart and uh, display r squared value on chart and uh, we can move these things here. So now you can see we have our uh, expression here and the r squared value. And one thing you uh, can click here and uh, you can add a layout okay so here you can have the axis so the decoration is uh, totally up to up to you you can see our trade line because it is a dot so we have to change it and uh, do more options and uh, in the you can select the dash type as this and you can also uh, change this color from here so thank you for watching this video and uh, we'll see you in the next video and if you find this video helpful please uh, subscribe like and share this video thank you